girl, Superwoman. Welcome to Ask Superwoman, a monthly show in which a complete random who knows nothing about anything answers your relationship questions. Again, this month, surprise, surprise, I got hundreds and hundreds of emails, so many that I could go like this. For days, and I still wouldn't be able to tell you how many emails I got. I'm glad you guys like it so much. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Question number one! Okay, so I met this guy in November and we started talking, but he told me he has to get married to a Mexican girl to get his green card. Should I be okay with this? Should you be okay with the guy you're dating marrying a Mexican girl to carry out illegal actions? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess if he needs his green card, and if you guys are just talking, um... No! Now don't get me wrong, I'm not being insensitive to the fact that this guy needs his green card, but, you know, I'm just thinking, guessing, I have, you know, a hunch that this might be problematic in the future. I mean, what happens to him? What happens to you? What, what happens to the Mexican girl? Yo quiero toco bed. I don't know, that's the only Mexican line I know. I don't know. Does it work? Does it go? I think it works. <laughs> On to the next question. I'm in love with the Bollywood actor Hrithik Roshan. But he is married and has kids, which really depresses me. What do I do? Oh, just excuse me one second, sorry. Yeah, mom, you're right. I think I'm gonna stop making YouTube videos. Are you telling me Hrithik Roshan is married with kids and not with you? That selfish bastard. But you know what? Just tell Justin Bieber to throw on some pink tights, grow an extra thumb, and I'm sure he'll be down. I was like, baby, 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 Gina. Something, some, something. Reading more ridiculous questions. What am I left about? I don't know. I'm just curious. What is your take on guys who have feet fetish? I don't, but some of my friends do, and they're afraid to tell their girlfriends, despite their girlfriends having nice feet due to pedicures. Well, that's just effing weird. I mean, if you find a girl that's down and you're down, you two do your thing. I mean, I'm no one to judge. You live happily ever after in Foot Locker. But to me, personally, I don't want to have my first date in Aldo. So yeah, to me, that's effing weird because feet are for walking and running. If I had to buy sexy, lacy socks to turn a man on, the end! Period! Hi, Superwoman, hello there. My question is, how do you get over guys like this? <laughs> Once upon a time, someone broke your heart. You cried. You watched Bollywood movies. You hated every couple you saw. You listened to Adele like it was your job. Fire to the rain. Time passes. You heal yourself. You love yourself. You rebuild your confidence. And then you find someone harder than the person who broke your heart in the first place. True story, bro. What up, t-shirt reference? I am 25 years old, going back to school to do my MA. My parents want me to get married, but I am gay. This culture and being a lesbian tears me apart every day. I respect my parents and would do what I can for them, but when it comes to following my heart, it is something I have to do. Am I selfish? You know, honestly, every month I get dozens and dozens of questions just like this. And honestly, on that note, people, People, society, especially brown people, you need to get over the whole gay thing, okay? I mean, it's 2012, Ellen is gay, Rosie O'Donnell is gay, one of the guys from NSYNC is gay, friggin' the guy from How I Met Your Mother is gay, Kingsley's gay, people are gay. Get over it! I mean, I personally don't give a flying fudge, yo, who someone likes. I don't know why you do. I mean, what? don't you have things to do in your life? I'm too busy. I can't concern myself with who someone likes. I'm here trying to, you know, not be homeless, trying to think of my next YouTube video, trying to live my life, trying to figure out the new Facebook layout. I'm here trying to win Temple Run. I don't have time to care about who A and B like. Mind your business. I just, just, mind, I, just mind your business. Just mind your business, I. Mind your business! Hugs and kisses for whoever got that Fresh Prince reference. Papers magically back in hand, huh? Next question. You got swag, babe. By the way, I like your hair. Aww, thanks for the question. Next question. I'm a white girl dating an Indian. Any advice to help me to understand him a little bit more? Well, indeed he do. His parents will likely hate you. You need to deal with that for a bit. You better bet your fiddlesticks that every time you go out, he's gonna be drinking Crown Royal mixed with water. Sister, let me tell you right now, in our culture, our families never go away. Ever. They will be there forever and ever. In your business. In your house. On your couch. Have jar ready. There is gonna be one of these in his washroom. Now it's time for the question of the month, the qualm. My question is, I'm a single mom of three boys. Girl power. My soon-to-be ex-husband cheated, that bastard, 
and I had a baby with another. Our babies are four months apart. I left him and now he is only a good dad when he thinks we are going to get back together. How do I tell him that we will never be together without him leaving my kids without a father? That is some deep deep stuff what do you guys think comment below give your feedback what would you do in the situation what advice can you give this superwoman of a single mother uh, my personal advice as hard as it is gonna be for your child not to have a father your child is still relatively young so if you were to meet someone new um, and eventually get remarried it wouldn't be as detrimental as doing that later on in the kids life when they're actually aware of what's happening having said that I don't think you want a father to your children to be a douchebag and only be a father when it's convenient for him. You know, in the long run, although it will be hard now, I think it would be more beneficial to have someone who is going to be a good dad, regardless of ups and downs. That's my two cents, sister. But tell me what you think. Comment below. And that is it for episode three of Ask Super. And if you want me to answer your beautiful, sexy question, this is what you gotta do. Email right here, asksuperwoman at gmail.com. Please keep them short and simple. I say this every month and I always get a novel. I think next, and I think next month, I'm gonna just show you screenshots of people's novels. I, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't do it. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, honestly, I straighten my hair, I do my makeup, I get a new t-shirt every video, I try to make a laugh, just hit the yellow button. Uh, uh, actually, it's not yellow anymore, as you've pointed out. It's gray, I think, somewhere right here. Just hit the subscribe button, like this, comment, share, do all that good stuff. Thank you once again for asking Superwoman. I will see you on June 14th. That's a wrap, Superwoman. Also, have a good day. Okay, bye.